Hey guys, what's up? It's Brian here with a quick little uh, thing I want to point out with an AR kit example and what we've been doing. There's probably going to be confusion and misconceptions on scene nodes, how to obtain their child nodes, and to what level we're obtaining the child nodes of. Um, this is something I encountered in my own app running the debugger. I found out what was actually happening within the hierarchy. So let's break it down. Using our chair.scene example, we see that the chair is itself is a node and it's the parent node of this. This is a virtual object and the chair is this one massive node in this virtual object in that hierarchy. And these are all child nodes of chair that compose the chair in this overall virtual object. Now, then what's the difference between using object.child nodes and virtual object.child nodes? Well, and then if you run this in the debugger, how it should come back is that this, this uh, parent being the virtual object.child nodes may actually only return as one object in that scene node and it might just return at this chair. So to access this chair, we actually have to get deeper within that. And that's where using this object.child nodes works. Depending on what you would tap in this example, object.child nodes could actually return these multiple objects that compose this chair. And if we want to modify a single part of this using that, then this is probably what you want to use in a for loop or something. So an example where you might use this would be like um, for child an example Uh, let's say child dot runs action, and it can be any type of scene action. Uh, we'll just use one that we've done before. So the issue with running this then with the parent um, instead of example here is that when we run run this for loop, that actually might just make the overall object uh, rotate by that, right? We want only let's say the uh, top of the chair to rotate. And that's where example is needed because then we can find with an if statement or another type of check if that um, we found the top of the chair and then we can use this child node to modify the top of the chair only. I'll give a more in-depth detail with this later when I connect this application to the phone, show you guys how it looks when running, but I just wanted to point this out before I upload that in the meantime in case any of you are following this and get stuck on this like I did a long time ago. Thanks for watching and hope to hope you stay tuned.